is up next. Have a fabulous Tuesday. Hey, everybody, and thank you, Nicole, and welcome, and now that's tasty. I'm your host, Guy. Here's what I'll tell you about today's show. I, I have a strong feeling every one of you who are watching is going to order something from this show. I have never seen a lineup like this. We have the most incredible food, a lot of stuff I've never even uh, presented to you before. Treats, delicious, savory food, all kinds of great, great stuff. In fact, uh, there's a company out there called Blissful Brownies. What they did for us on today's menu, they created not a traditional chocolate brownie, they created two different ones, okay? When you see what they are, one of them is coconut lime. Oh my gosh, the most delicious thing you'll ever see in your life. And the other one is lemon bar. They give you a whole slab. Cut it as uh, any way you want. I'll tell you, you don't need a lot. These things are definitely rich. They are unbelievable. And the story behind the company is absolutely adorable. So if you want to order them, $32.95. Just choose uh, the uh, coconut lime. I can't wait to try that. I've had the lemon bars. They're sick and stupid and crazy good, but I haven't had the coconut lime. All right, what else? Bagels, they are back. All right, I can't remember the last time these guys were here. This is from the Brooklyn Food Group. You want to know why their bagels are so good? First of all, they don't slice them. You want to slice it when you get it home after you, after you, you know, if you want to toast it, don't do that. Put it in the oven for like five minutes at like 350, okay? It's going to have that glassy, crispy exterior, that doughy, yeasty interior. They're the best bagels I have ever had outside of New York because they come from New York. And guess what? They use New York water in the bagels. Uh, my good friend uh, Gerard's gonna be joining me in just a bit. Uh, he's the man from Brooklyn Food Group's gonna tell us all about it. I'm gonna make a bagel, salmon, cream cheese. Uh, and by the way, you get 24 bagels for 26 bucks, free shipping, crazy. All right, what else do I have? Ah, oh, Lucretia's back. Remember Lucretia was here uh, probably about two, three months ago, and we had that cake, and it was everybody was blown about, away by it, that frosting? Well, guess what? She's got a brand new lineup of little mini bunt cakes, and when you hear the flavors, hold on, you ready? Strawberry crunch, mini lemon, caramel obsession, scrumptious rum. Oh my gosh, they're so good, and they're little bunt cakes. Cut them in half, do whatever you want. But. You may have had our uh, very world famous uh, chicken sticks, which come to us from uh, Mighty Spark. Sell out every time. These are their brand new patties. And I will tell you, I've never been really crazy about some of the prepackaged chicken, you know, things that they have out there. This will blow you away. Why? It's gourmet. It's all natural. They don't use any weird hormones. They don't do any of that stuff, right? And they come frozen to you. You're gonna get a dozen. And wait till you see the flavors that we have. Over here, let me show you real quick, and then we'll get over there and see what Taylor's got going on, because Taylor's uh, gonna be telling us about it. This is the bacon. Toasty, delicious, roasted bacon inside. Put this on a roll with lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise, you got a BLT, right there, okay? And this one, by the way, is turkey. I have the spinach and feta chicken. Absolutely will knock your sock. If you love Greek, right? If you love the feta cheese, oh my gosh. Remember, these are all gonna come uncooked. You cook them yourself on the grill, on a stove top, uh, barbecue style, whatever you want, air fryer. Here is bruschetta chicken. This has garlic and basil and fresh tomato, all built in. All you gotta do is grill it and you're good to go. And then finally, this is jalapeno and queso cheese you are gonna absolutely fall on the floor when you taste that. Here's my girl, my best friend, my buddy, Taylor Mock is hey here. Taylor has been with us for years and years and years and she's special and she's a new mom. Yes. Um, so she I knows am. all about cooking and taking care of business when she has to. These are unbelievable. They're I mean, they really are. So good. Yeah. You know, we've been with HSN for years now. Oh yeah. Um, so being able to bring you premium poultry, I'm talking premium chicken, premium turkey, it's huge, especially when it's made in the USA. Now, we've all had a turkey burger. We've all had a, a, a chicken yeah. patty of I some sort. I make turkey sort. meatloaf, I do stuff like that. Yeah, all the time. But you gotta jazz it up. You gotta jazz it up, and here's the thing. Mighty Spark has made your life so much easier by doing the work for you. You hear, you see me here on the smokeless HQ grill here that you can also have in your house. You can cook them on your air fryer. You can do them on a stove top. You can do them on a flat top griddle. Um, the list can go on, on on how you can cook these. But the bottom line is these are done in about 15 minutes on a gr in a grill. 
the smokeless grill about 15 minutes, air fryer about 10 minutes, uh, and the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes. We've done the work of prepping and adding in all the seasonings for you. All you have to do is eat it. And here's the thing. I don't want you thinking of this just as your your substitute for your chicken no, breast. We've it's done go -to. so much stuff with this. <laughs> I'm, what do you see on here? You're like, okay, I could see myself well, chowing down at dinner, lunch, yeah, whatever. And if you want to do lettuce wraps with it, right? You could do that if you want to put yes. it on a tortilla. You can chop them up and put them on, on tortilla. Yep. You know what I love is that, like you said, a plain chicken breast and a plain turkey breast doesn't have a heck of a lot of flavor. It's what you do with it. Right. We've added all, or they have added all the spices, the cheeses, the veggies, everything, everything. to make it. Right through the roof. And remember, $39, you're getting a dozen meals that, out of this. That's that, a lot. And they're know. perforated, too. I don't yeah. know if you saw that guy. Right, so you can so cut here's, them. Here's the deal. That you can just tear them just like this, um, and then you can throw them in your freezer. They also fold beautifully just like this for uh, freezer storage. Um, you know, I love that whether you're living on your own. Look at my little sous chef over I'm here. I'm just cooking them up. I'm getting hungry. What? <laughs> He's ready for lunch, y'all. All right, I got you. Um, you know, whether you live on your own or whether you have a family of four, five, six, these are suited for you. Again, we've done the heavy work for you. Yeah. I want to show you again your options and what you can do. Yeah, do that so, and, then we'll, and then we'll take a bite. Yeah, bite. those are still cooking just a yeah. little bit. Um, we've got here an incredible breakfast sandwich. All we've done is we've taken out bacon bursting turkey patty, added a little bit of egg, some lettuce, a little English muffin, some fruit, and bam. There you go, jiffy breakfast. Then you've got a great lunch here with our bruschetta. Our bruschetta is our number one selling patties here with Mighty Spark at HSN. And then we've got a nice little um, caprese salad. Then we have our jalapeno queso yeah. fresca. These are my Look favorite. Keto. Look at these beautiful keto, keto meals. All these medley. are keto too, so you're not adding a bunch it's of delicious. artificial it's my crud in them, which is what a lot That's of the right. companies who, who do. Who needs the bread here, right? There you go. And then this is my favorite as far as quick, healthy lunch another perfect keto item uh, gluten-free as well here you can do your spinach and your feta we just launched this one um, a, a couple of months back and it did so well so we yeah. jazzed it up here with some tzatziki sauce some tomatoes some onions put it on a bed of romaine and there you go there is your healthy lunch I'm a busy mom I get it, okay? I, I know how it is. Which one do you want me to eat? Well, I really, I really want you. Let me check out this one. This, this is your... I, I think, is this the spinach? This Which, is the spinach, but I, I want to... I, I looked at it. It's ready. You're good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one you could do. Let's All right, put let that... Me, let me cut this up. All right. All right, so here's the deal with these. These are not going to be dry. Have you ever cut into a super dry piece of turkey, chicken? Yeah. It's going to be really hot. Um, and you're not getting the juice, you're like, ugh, I'd right. rather have the beef. This is why. It's because of the quality of the meat. And it starts right here with Mighty Spark. So oh. I want to show you here at the inside. Look how beautiful that is. You can actually see this. Again, this is our spinach and feta. Yeah. You can see the spinach slices. You can see the feta Jeez. in here. We don't play around with our ingredients. In fact, I just want to make sure you know these are all natural, highly sourced ingredients. We don't play around with the quality when it comes to can anything. I, can I jump on it real quick? I want, do, I want to do something first. I want okay. to kind of flip it over okay. like that. All right. And I want you to see these are so juicy. Look at all Look at that. that. Look at the juice that's coming out. And you mm -hmm. can leave these on the grill for 20 minutes. They don't, they stay perfectly juicy. Yeah. I'm going to flip it back over. There you go. I'm going to put it back together. Excuse my fingers. I'm going to go here. You know, I like my lettuce and tomato on top. Oh, okay. Like that? He And y'all, he already told me no with the onions because he said he's going to be busy well, today. Got, yeah, and I, got, and I said, okay, I should have took your order earlier. Look at me. All right, Look I'm going to... Look at gonna, you. Okay, how beautiful is that? And again, this was done in 15 minutes. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, guys, look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, hey, listen, I'm not. It's up to you if you don't want to eat red meat. But I got to tell you, I've been trying not to eat as much red meat because because it's like with Danny, my son, it's like yeah. burgers and and cheese steaks and all that stuff. All right, I'm going yep. in. All right, Ready? go in. And while he's tasting it, I want you to know this was made in 15 minutes. Quick, delicious. Can you taste the quality? Versus other store-bought <clears throat> turkey patties. If I ordered this in a restaurant, I would be happy. Yes. I mean, this is... Oh, absolutely. I'd be blown away. I'd be blown away. Let me pull this that bacon is, off. That's, that's way better, because I've never tried the spinach feta. That's way better than I expected. Like, so good. Yeah. And remember, you're getting 12 of these. I mean, man. And that Taylor, these are awesome. So I wanted to show you here. Here is our bacon bursting. Now, mm. do you see these pieces of bacon in here? 
These are chunks of mm. bacon. We're taking, again, we're taking the prep work out of cooking the bacon separate. Then you're stuffing the patties or just putting the bacon on top, et cetera. We've done that work for you. We've seasoned it for you. And I love that we have that option. Again, this is the turkey patty. Because remember, we have two options. If you're a chicken fan, we have chicken. If you're a turkey patty fan, we have turkey. This one is going to be your turkey. And I want to just go over the calories here, low in calories. Only 210 calories in these. Um, these are 4.5 ounces, okay? Way bigger than a quarter pounder. These are very satiating, very satiating. In fact, I just had these for dinner last night. Um, I've got a almost 18 year old stepson who absolutely loves these. He said he preferred these over that very greasy beef burger. He wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. So that right there, in my opinion, is saying something. Remember, these are all natural. We never have our chickens confined to cages. This is the most premium quality chicken turkey you can get. There's so much you can do with these, y'all. There is just so much. I mean, the list can go on and on from breakfast, from lunch to dinner. Again, if you're just joining, hey, I wanna show you what you can do for lunch and for dinner for that purpose. My favorite here, the jalapeno fresca, jalapeno uh, patty here. We just put these on the grill for about 10, 15 minutes, put them on a veg medley, toss it in a little bit of Italian vinaigrette, and there you go. Just like that, so, so easy. Air fryer lovers, hey, this is for you. If you're living on your own, you're like, what should I do for lunch? No, don't go, to, don't go out to eat. Don't go to the fast food places. Pop this baby in the air fryer on 350, 10 minutes. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change your waistband for that matter, but it's also gonna jive up those taste buds. Again, quick breakfast. I am a mama of a 16 month old baby now. So for me to say, hey, this is so great. I put this in my oven while I'm getting her ready in the morning. Uh, 350 for 20 minutes. I come back, put an egg on there and I'm ready to rock. And I mean, look what you're getting. You're getting 12, a lot. 12 patties. Yes. And you can take them out anytime you want. Anytime. Yep. Look anytime. And we've got all these different flavors. Listen, we're getting real busy. Oh, I knew we would. Your burger's falling apart here. Spinach feta, the one, the one that I ate, that's the most popular. I got the bacon here too. That's oh, all yeah. done if you want to try it. We got them all right here. And, and you know the convenience of just popping it out of the freezer. Yeah. Right? And you can, can you air fry these? Okay. You can absolutely air fry these. Put them in the oven, put them on the grill top. I love putting them on my griddle top. This is the jalapeno fresca. So this has got a little bit of a kick to it, I tell you. Uh, not bad, a good kick. I'm not a huge spice fan, but this is definitely gonna jazz up your, your taste buds here. Um, you can do so much with this. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? We talk about what you can do with it. You can do frozen straight from your freezer onto the grill top, straight from your freezer into the air fryer. There's no having to thaw this out. I mean, hello, busy mom here. I don't got time for that. I do not have time for that. Instead, here's what I do. I do this, I take it out of the freezer. I simply rip, watch this, I rip this perforation here because you can do that, okay? I take this out, there's a little bit of a pull tab right here, so they open up very nicely. You would open it up just like that from here. I'm gonna show you guys once they grab my shot here. There you go, look at that. You see that little plastic tab? You just pull it open. I take it out. Of course, we, this one's thawed out, but again, it can be straight from the freezer. So if you live on your own, hey, look, we're here for you at Mighty Spark. We know how hard it is now to buy for a family of one or even two, for that matter. You're, you're with your husband at, at dinner and you're like, hey, I don't wanna have to thaw out five pounds of hamburger meat to make one or two patties for us. Let's just go grab it at the local restaurant. And then you're spending 50, 60 bucks at the end of the day. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want you to think about what's best for you, right? At the end of the day, it's not just your time because that is huge, right? We're all busy individuals. It is about the quality, what you're nourishing your body with. Hey, I want you to join me here on this Kitchen HQ smokeless grill here. It is so nice uh, that I can cook this from the comfort of my own kitchen. Um, I love this thing, by the way. Again, though, these are cooked up in about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to actually take this off. This is the queso fresca. I'm gonna take these off. It's been about 15 minutes here. 
And again, I don't want you just to think of this as that substitute for your chicken breast, okay? This is perfect for anything. Here's what I do. This is me at home. It is girls night. It is wine night. But I know that we're kind of trying to watch our figures with summer coming up and we don't want like heavy, heavy things. So here's what I do. Here, let me show you this one. This is nice and crispy. Cut into this and I cut it into strips, okay? And then yeah, I cut I it into cubes. It. Yep, yeah. I stretched it. And then I add it to my favorite cauliflower crust pizza. I just add mozzarella cheese, add this on top, little bit of uh, red sauce or white sauce, put it in the oven. And it's hey, done, listen, and it's girls' you, night, wine yeah, night. Yeah, I like this too if, you, if you're not really a skilled chef, right? Absolutely. And you're like, what am I gonna make for dinner? I got people coming over, yep. they don't, you know, I got people that are, don't eat red meat, right? And, you, or, or, and maybe they don't like fish, and you're like, yep. I got turkey and chicken. Yep. So we're so busy. Pat, I mean, tons of people ordering this right now. 39 did you see the sale price? It went from 54 to 39. It's crazy, I know. Yeah, and it's free shipping and handling. So remember, I'm gonna just go through the choices one more yep. time. So everybody can grab it. So we've got the jalapeno, mm -hmm. and that's with the queso fresca. Yes. Mm. And if you don't know what that is, that's just fresh cheese. Okay? It's fresh cheese. It's yep. not a strong cheese, very mild. The next one that we have is the bruschetta chicken. Okay. So if you like Italian flavors, basil, you like exactly. the tomato. Exactly. Wholesome uh, ingredients. Yeah. We've got spinach, feta, and chicken. Uh huh. That was so ridiculous. I had to take a. I had to sit there. I was like literally over. That good, right? It was ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Like so good. Actually, I had a problem with my microphone. And I apologize for that. But I'm back. Um, and then finally, bacon. Bacon. So and think about bacon. Like I said, if you just if you have somebody that just wants bacon with some lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise. Simple and easy. Perfect. Like a BLT essentially. But you know you're not getting that fast fatty beef in, yeah. right? So just a great alternative. I'm a big BLT fan. I love that stuff. Me too. I love right. it. Mine you're not going anywhere. Popular with HSN customers. You're not leaving me, right? I'm leaving. You. Where are you going? I know you're used to having me on for you don't a have anything, the hour. I, I, this is it? me today. Mighty Sparks ah, my life today. I know. You're awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you want to order on the item number, top of the screen, 009-413. Yes. Hey, earlier we we, uh, we teased the little bunt cakes from Lucretia. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see them. Okay, here they are. So, strawberry crunch. You get mini lemon. There's a caramel cake. Her caramel cake is so ridiculous. You have your choice of any of these. Everybody that orders is gonna get a six pack of these. Each one you can cut into quarters. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely delicious. So if you wanna order those, go ahead. We've got more great stuff coming up in just a sec. In fact, we got bagels coming. Yummy. What a show. Thank you, Taylor. Thanks, guy, appreciate All right, my you. Dear. We'll All see right. ya. All right, I'm heading over. Come walk with me. Where am I going? Are we doing, what are we doing next? Oh, we are doing brown. Okay, I was hoping we were done because I need a little. I need a little sweet after I did savory or after okay. I. Did, yeah. yeah. Let me just tell you, this is our best bite of the show, and the reason I say that is I, I don't. If you've ever tasted this food before, it yeah. is unbelievable. unbelievable. And now most people, when they think of the company, they think Blissful Brownies, cute story, you're gonna tell that, yeah, yeah. about chocolate brownies, and chocolate brownies are amazing. These have personality plus, they're amazing, and they're perfect for summer, okay? Because you're gonna get the incredible, I can't wait, the one I haven't tried is the coconut lime, I'm, I'm dying to try that, but okay. we also have yeah. lemon bars. And the lovely Carrie Maletto is with us. Yes. Carrie has been with us for many, many years. You could say many, many. More than 10. <laughs> uh, she's amazing. Uh, and she always brings us wonderful stuff. But these Absolutely. are these are beautiful. And I love the pox, the pack. It's these are everything. giftable. It's a full experience. Yes. We always talk about the full experience, right? Because we, we eat with our eyes. And so our eyes want to have that experience of just pulling this beautiful ribbon off. And then I'm going to open the box. So let's see if it, it plays with me nicely here on live television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? I gotta go down here. Hold come on, on come second. on, come on. I know, I'm going fast. <laughs> okay, when you open the box, then there's going to be some tissue paper. Oh. And then when you lift the tissue paper, that's going to reveal your slab. So your choice here today is whether you want a lemon bar, or whether you want a coconut key lime bar. And so I love, again, the presentation, beautiful, but you know what really matters? How it tastes. So I'm gonna go first into our lemon bar because that is, to me, so summer. It's absolutely ridiculous. So the story about Blissful as I'm breaking into this, this is Ambler Fitzsimmons' dream. And it, you know, I always love to talk about stories that are 
To thank you. You're that welcome. are total Americana oh gosh, stories, okay? It. So when I break into this, what I'm breaking into, if you look at the bottom here, that's your shortbread crust. And everybody loves a good buttery shortbread, right? <laughs> then it goes into what is a like a gelatin. We've done a, instead of a custard, we've done a gelatin because then that way it can ship, and right. that way you don't <clears> have to worry. So it is going to ship at ambient temperature. When you get your slab home, put it straight in the fridge for about two oh, cool. hours. So you don't have to worry about it's that. It's going to firm right up, and then right at the top, notice. This is not even a caramelization. This is from baking it, right? So it was like, we didn't like torch it or anything. Just from baking it, it caramelized on the top. And I love that about this. So the, the flavor profile of what happens as you bite into it, because I always talk about the food that when you bite into it, you're trying to feel each step of the process. It's great, right? That's okay. The lemon, I've had the lemon. Okay. Explo Here's what I'll say. Yeah. Explosion of lemon flavor in your mouth, like citrus. That tart, that like really zesty. Oh, it gets, you know, it gets you right here, right there. Yeah, I love it. I and love I'm it. a huge fan, a fan of shortbread too, so that's yeah. just a perfect combo. Well, who doesn't like a good shortbread? Oh I mean, come on. But you know, here's how the slab comes. It's a one pound slab. Again, beautiful presentation. So this is that time of year where people are buying houses. People are having weddings. Mm. Kids are gonna be graduating from school and going off to college. Here's the great thing about these, and then we're gonna move on to the, to the key line. These are uh, refrigerator safe for up to four weeks a freezer safe for up to six months. So get this now and have it there for whenever you need it. It only takes 30 minutes for it to defrost. So you could even, I have a little tip for you. Yeah. Pre-cut them and then wrap them back into the cellophane, sure. put it in the freezer, and that <clears throat> way you can pull pieces as you need them. So if someone comes over, you wanna have a little tea party or yeah. have it with, look, I love having the lemon with limoncello. You know me, I'm a Yeah, but remember, cut them in small pieces. Yeah. Like these pieces are way too big. Okay. All right, because the, these are very dense, very rich, a little one by one inch square. I'm it telling really you, you'll be chewing it. on that thing for a couple minutes because it's got so much citrus flavor. Okay, let me hold that down. So this Watch is this. coconut and lime. Okay. Toasted coconut, oh my gosh. Okay, so again, shortbread at the bottom. We've got that uh, key lime going throughout. And this is not just the lime itself, but it's also the zest. So you know what, if you've cooked with zest, zest makes a huge difference in the taste yeah. of something because oh, it yeah. gives it that power punch. And then toasted coconut at the top. So this one, it's, I'm a Floridian. I was born and raised in Florida. All my family's from New York and Jersey, but I was a Florida girl. So I'll tell you what. You mind? Key, Go. Key lime is, you know, serious for a Floridian. It's got to be done right. This is done right because it's not overly sweet. It's just that right, like, amount of sweet mixed with the zest of the, the yeah, right? That's better. That's better than the lemon. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I got to be honest. Sorry, like, Emily. If I yeah. am I, no, they're both good. But they're I'm a big, great. you know, you know, because I, I make, like, I like you know, I make the too. candles. And my favorite, my best scent for summer is coconut and lime. Well, there you go. Yeah, so, it goes right with it. So yes, it's already his favorite. That is so delicious. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, like that is, there's so much stuff going on there because you get the tropical That's right. of the coconut. Yes. And, and of course, and then that little bit of citrus, which actually cuts the heaviness of the dessert. Right. Because you've, that's the same with the lemon because you've got the shortbread, which is dense. But the lemon, it gets your juices flowing in there and everything washes clean. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. But you know, lemon is a palate cleanser, right? So a lot of the times they'll put that in uh, if you're having meals with uh, several different types of, um, you know, um, courses. Lemon is, it can serve as a palate cleanser. So what I love is that this is great with tea, as you're seeing here, or coffee, or as I threw in, limoncello. But you know, if you're trying to have people over, whether it's cocktails, whether it's coffee, whether it's tea, this is the time of year for it. We're getting together, we're having uh, you know outdoor events and things like that. This will hold up beautifully um, if you're doing even like a, you know a barbecue or a cafe situation, like where you're just kind of you know sitting on your patio. Yeah. Um, this is great for the girls' get-togethers, bringing it to the church, you know, gathering. Um, again four weeks in the refrigerator, six months in the freezer, which I think is fabulous. So get a few of these yeah. and have them on hand because remember, let's go back to the packaging that I was showing you here. If you get the key lime, it has the pink bow. And if you get the lemon bar, it has the brown bow. And this is, yeah. this is the colors of Blissful. So let's talk about Blissful Can I second. say one quick thing while it's on my because I yeah. have to say this? Yeah. Here's what I'll tell you. If you p pull this out at a dinner party, after your dinner party, <gasps> and, you, and you serve these, yes. I, will I will guarantee every one of your guests is going to go, 
what the heck was that? Where did you get that? Where did you, I mean, it's that <laughs> kind of a, like they're gonna put it in their mouth and think, I've never experienced that much. It's such a big flavor. And I'm glad that you said that yeah. before I even explained it. So it, it has to do with Ambler and with, you know, how much pride she has in her business. At nine years old, she took a cooking class. And in that cooking class, she developed her brownie recipe, which if you have tried the brownies, which was a few months ago, they're super fudgy. And if you're a fudgy brownie lover, I have never, tasted a brownie like this. So anyway, she hid that secret for years, called it her signature brownie recipe and hid it. And then as, you know, she aged, you know, and got older and became an adult, mm. she went and got her law degree. And then after getting her law degree, she always had in the back of her mind that she was, she was gonna start this company. <laughs> but you know what she did? It's been all, about 20 years now. Yeah. And this lemon bar recipe you're having is 18 years uh, in the making. When they first made the lemon bar. I'm going back to lemon. It took 162 lemons, zested and hand, um, uh, you know, um, uh, mm. a look. So good. You see, you're having a good time. No. Ambler's all about making Yum. people happy. I think he's happy. I think you'll be happy. I Here's think your like. servants <clears throat> will be happy. What I like about the lemon, yeah. better than the lime, the lemon makes you salivate more. So you enjoy it. Like, I think it's you know what I mean? When you love yeah. something and your okay, mouth starts to there. water, yeah. the minute you put that in your mouth. Let's go here. Okay, here you are. It's, you're gonna hit, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, my mouth is just like watering. It's, it's truly a mouth-watering dessert. That's the coconut with lime. Look at that. And again, just a delicious, simple, perfect? Flavor, you know, that those simple the, addition of, of this and that, a little bit of sweet and a little bit of that tart is that. amazing. The good things in life are simple. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, I, I always, you guys, you know, Carrie Mileto, I'm Italian. Italians are really big about keeping things simple and I love that. And, and the reason why is because if you have good ingredients and you use those good ingredients and put them together effectively, you don't need anything else. Yeah. You don't need tons of sugar or tons of whatever. No. Now, granted, these have sugar in them, but in the right amounts. I think that when you right. when you taste this, it's going to be the, like that tartness comes This through. is not fudge, okay? Exactly. Fudge is sugar it's overload. Fudge. I love once in a while have fudge, but then I'm like, I can't I can't eat more than one or two bites. Absolutely. This is is oh. definitely dense. It is definitely delicious, but it has that clean finish, which which you know a lot of things fudges and things like that don't have. That's right. You're gonna absolutely love it. Okay, so all you need to order is either the lemon or the coconut lime. If you want to get both, I'm not gonna hold that against you. Remember, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. That's it's right. Not, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help you get stuff. Free shipping and handling as well. Hey, let me tell you now. Let's let's talk about Ferris for a second. Oh, All right? okay, before I take Carrie's back. coming back. Yeah, yes. before you start stuffing your mouth. Here yeah. we go. Ferris is coming back. Do you know that th this this mix is my favorite with the cherries and the uh, and the cranberries? It's, classic. it's yeah. the classic, but this is different because it's the grab and go. The grab and go is so great at the summer because, you know, I always talk to you when we do the big containers about, you know, splitting it up. Now you don't have to. We did it for you. You know, a lot of times you pay uh, so much more money to do that. Don't worry about it. Ferris has got you. We're going to give you those grab and goes to take with you, whether it's the beach, the pool, the park, you got it. All the peas. Anyway, <laughs> anywhere you need to go. Wherever you need to go. All right, we're gonna see you in about 20 minutes, my dear. Sounds and those good. are really adorable earrings, by the way. All right, yeah. we're gonna step away. You know what we got coming up? Brooklyn Bagels, the best. <laughs> Meet award-winning chef, successful restaurateur, and television star, Chef Jet Tila. I'm a master of Asian cuisine and so much more. My line of cookware and prep tools will take you on a culinary journey around the world. And build your skills in the kitchen so you can have more time to enjoy the results. And you can only find my exclusive cookware line on HSN. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Dive into deals with HSN's first big summer sale. Get up to 30% off thousands of items and weekend steals. This is the weekend to watch, bursting with all your summer needs to make yours truly memorable. Save on all things bright, beautiful, and summer. From our hottest brands to our best deals, enjoy huge holiday savings starting Friday at midnight during our first big summer sale only on HSN.
Hey, by the way, if you need plants, uh, well, you know, I'm usually your man, but if I'm not around and you need them, uh, go to hsn.com. You know, I had a neighbor the other day asked me, was asking me about roses, and I was, then she was asking, you know, wh which one she should get and all that stuff. You can find out all that information right over there at hsn.com, and guess what? Up to 30% off, and are we doing free shipping over there too, Pat? Uh, yes, we are. So if you, it's, hey, it's the season, it's May, time to plant. So get yourself some great stuff on hsn.com. All right, we're gonna get back into the food business. There's a company called Brooklyn Food Group. <laughs> And I started ordering their bagels probably three years ago, four years ago, whenever you guys first got here. And my son Danny and I sat down. We, we didn't, you know, they come unsliced, and, I, and I, I know for a reason. We put them in the oven, not in the toaster. You can put them in a toaster if you want to, but we put them in the oven, we took them out. Danny and I ate them together, and I, we looked at each other, and I'm like, I'm like, and he's never been to New York. And I'm like, Danny, I'm like, these are New York. This is New York bagel. The key to what the Brooklyn Food Group does is they use the New York water. Of course, you're going to get that crispy texture. But the key is, and the reason I tell you to put them in the oven, is because you're going to get that crispy, almost like a thin sheet of glass on the outside that when you bite into the bagel, you're going to hear that crack. And then you have that beautiful, doughy, yeasty interior. You can cut them when you get them out of the oven and load them up. We're going to do that today. Let me introduce you to my special guest. Gerard Fodera is here. It is good to see you again, my friend. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure I have, be here. I've been ordering your bagels. It's so funny because I don't ever get, I don't go to the grocery store and get bagels. No, I have them delivered the because there's nothing like that New York City water exactly. in your bagel. Welcome exactly. to our show. Good yeah. Great to be here. Great to be here. So we, we're doing a, a really good deal today and you can get any flavor that you want. We've got them in plain. We have them in uh, the combo. We have the sesame. We have cinnamon raisin or my favorite, which is the everything bagels. But even when you just look at these bagels, and I'll pull a couple of them out, I'll take out an everything bagel, and then I'll take out one of these bagels. And if you can get a close up of my hand here, do you see that little bit of a sheen on the bagel? See it? That's what's developed when a, prop, when a bagel is made properly, all right? There's a whole process, I'll let Gerard explain that. But when you put these and reconstitute them back in your oven, you, I swear, you will blink your eyes and think you're in New York. It is exactly. that awesome. That's anyway, my friend, so we've got all those and everybody is gonna get 24 bagels and they're gonna come to everybody unsliced. Unsliced. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get onion bagels. That's what we added for our savory uh, addition. Oh, fantastic. So, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't even say the onion. Yeah, so the onion. Here's the everything, onion, gotcha. Listen, onion used to be the number two bagel yeah. years ago. Plain was always so number one. So we lost, the, we don't have cinnamon raisin. I just wanna make sure everybody we, yeah, knows. Yeah, we took out the sweet this time. Okay. But you know, we're gonna sweeten some of these bagels oh, up anyway. Oh my anymore. gosh, I know, because we got the plain ones, but yeah, go ahead, But today's us. the savory day, so we're gonna really try to do uh, to take off on that, and we got some beautiful sandwiches here. The crew made, yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna make some ourselves. What makes like honestly though, when you make your bagels, what is it? What, I mean, because everybody says it's the water. People are like you're crazy. It's not the water. What do you think it is? Okay, so my family business is 93 years old this year. We're in the ingredient business. Yeah. We know ingredients, okay? But there's that one ingredient you still need. You need that water, and that water <laughs> makes a difference, and that's what gives you this crunchiness it's and, boil, yeah. and boiling the bagels. It, yeah, 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 and it's got to be the, there's got to be some minerals or something in that water. I don't uh, know, maybe it's no, the it's, old. It's very it's soft water. It's the old plumbing. Yeah, yeah it's so very maybe soft that's water. It comes from the mountains upstate. All right, so we are already very busy. Uh, three dozen people have already picked them up. I knew this was going to happen because look at our price at twenty six ninety five. Wow. You're getting twenty four bagels. It's a little over a dollar a bagel. If you went to a bagel shop in New York, you're going to pay a heck of a lot more than that, and you can have them whenever you want them. Now. These are, uh, are going to arrive to your house. Are they going to come frozen or do they come? I don't think no, they, they come do. ambient temperature. Okay. When you receive them, though, these are clean label products. There's no chemicals. There's no preservatives. Okay. You have to put them in your freezer. Okay? Or you put them in your refrigerator. The, in, inside the box is a card. It gives you all directions how to prepare the bagels, what to do with them, when yeah. you get them. Just look for the card. Sometimes it slips on the side of the box yeah. inside. But you, it'll be it. When you so, pull the bagels out, you'll find it. I'm an everything bagel guy. Oh. I like cream cheese, salmon, a little caper, uh, so we can show, you. we're gonna start whipping them up right here, but uh, all I'm gonna tell you is, I, I don't know, Pat, if we're, if we're short on any, because I know we don't, I haven't, we haven't been able to get these in in a while, so we'll keep you posted on the quantity. So let's grab, oh, let's they're in here. This, I'm right? trying to figure out where so they you are. you pick out a bagel, yeah, if you want me, me to put out. it together, I'd be happy to do it. I'm gonna do a, one let's with cream see. cheese. You do that one, and, you and, do I'll, some do, with and I'll do this one. Oh, lox yeah, one. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna go cream, this cream cheese here? Yeah. So I'm gonna go cream cheese here on this side. Perfect. And you know, this is half the fun, is setting up your little bagel bar at home. Oh, you know, when I, Danny and I have such a good time, and he likes the bagels just like I do. I finally got him to put a little red onion on his bagel, so he's loving that. And then I will go, I'm gonna grab some salmon here. Salmon, 
You've yeah. done this before. Yeah. I, you know what? I just, <laughs> actually, I, I went to a place. I was uh, my son's graduation from college, uh -huh. and we went over to Boca, and there was a place called the Boca Bagel Bar or something like that, and it was very good. Because guess what? They're from New York. And I asked him, and he goes, yeah, we get our water from New York. All the way down to Boca. Really? And let me tell you, my bagel was like $12. No, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, you're right. You, Boca we're, Raton. We're going to deliver these bagels for a, a little over a, a, a dollar. It's ridiculous. New York, it's a dollar fifty to two dollars yeah. right now. Eighteen dollars a dozen minimum. You got to pick them up. You got to go get them yourself. Look at that. Here, we're going to deliver them right to you. All right, look at my bagel. That okay. looks beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. perfect. I mean, can you imagine being able to make that for you and your family at home? Wow. And remember, you got your choice. You can go everything. You get two dozen of those. Uh, you can get plain two dozen of those. You can get the new onion. Oh, onion bagels are amazing. Uh, or we also have, which, and the, we have the plain. I think that's the only, or sesame. That's the only sesame, one I left sesame. out. What are you making there? Listen, this is uh, one of my new concoctions because, you know, we're into grilling season. Okay, so yeah. during grilling season, you can see some grill marks on the, on the bagels. So I said they're heat activated. You have to heat them. Okay, so the, I didn't say how you have to heat them, but you can put them on a grill. You're, bar you're barbecuing, and, uh, and out it comes. You get the lines. This is so now, good. I never, Gerard. I never had a hot dog on a bagel before. We're but making, hot, yeah, we're doing hot okay. dog and relish so bagels. You're, you're grilling, yes, a little mustard, a little kraut. Oh, all right, I'm taking another little, bite. Put a little this in here. Perfect, perfect. You see that? Look at that bagel. You can have this in about a week. You can make these bagels. Look at this. And by the way, you can get decent locks at any grocery store, right? Exactly. Papers. The only other thing I would do, I like, to, I don't know about you, I squeeze fresh lemon on the top of the yeah, sandwich. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I Absolutely. like that too. That, that was my father's favorite yeah. sandwich. Yeah, and ago. I would put onion on it, but again, I'm so working. It's upside down. But look, look at that. So now you got a hot dog sandwich. Not only that, all the, all, the worst thing about hot dogs, I, and I, I love hot dogs, but you have a hot dog, you put it in the bun, put the crowd yeah. on it, and it starts falling out the oh, bun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem with these. We gutted it out, we, we couldn't it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you we take out the inside a little there. bit. Hey, and maybe if you got those, uh, if you got the turkey or the chicken burgers, and you yes. want to put those on a bagel. we have one here. Yeah, that's what, oh, we did it right here. And we put a little, oh, look at this one. So we did the bruschetta one. All right. And we added a little fresh mozzarella, tomato, basil. and basil on perfect. there. And then there is your perfect sandwich. Look at that. So if you're looking for alternatives, and by the way, there's the chicken and turkey uh, um, patties that we had earlier, if you want to write those down. Over 700 people picked those up today, too. So, I mean, honestly, I don't eat bagels all the time. When I do, I always eat your bagels. They're, they're, in, they're in my refrigerator Appreciate right it. now. There's two of them left, okay. and I didn't eat them. All my right. brother was in town. I didn't eat them because Danny's coming home. And those are, these, your bagels are his favorite bagels. Do you like to, let me ask you how you like to prepare them. Do you oven, do them in the oven, or do you do them in the toaster? I do them in the oven. You could do it in a toast. If I'm in a rush, you know, yeah. usually what I'll do is I'll keep a six pack in a refrigerator. If I'm gonna eat them every day, I'll keep a six pack in the refrigerator, take them out of the freezer the night before, yeah. and every day you can pull. In the refrigerator, they're gonna last 30, 45 days. So you could take yeah, them out, them slice yeah. them, you can drop them in a toaster. But like you said, if you heat these in an oven, a convection oven or a regular oven, no microwave, these will come out just like you got out of the bagel. They came out of the oven in the bagel store. You told Perfect. me that. You told me that yes. when you were here. Yep. And, I, and I said it to Danny. Danny's like, what? We put them in the oven? I'm like, yeah. It's, it not only brings them back to what, you know, to where they came right. from, right. but it also gives you that crispy exterior. And if you're looking at these bagels, I love to try just a plain bagel because when you put that in the oven and take it out and you let it rest just a sec or two, when you bite into this, you're gonna hear that crunch. I always say it's like a thin sheet of glass. It just, right. it just crackles. And then inside you have that incredible yeasty dough. All right, crazy busy, let me know what you want. We'll send you two dozen bagels for $26. I mean, even, even Brandon, Brandon's one of our producers here, he came out and he goes, how much are those? I said, it's 26 bucks. He goes, it's like a dollar a bagel. I'm like, dude, yeah. he said I'm gonna be your first order. So we're ordering them here. You know, bagels are great. They're great, uh, great, especially for your kids. I don't know a kid out there that doesn't love a great bagel. They're the kind of food that doesn't matter what age you are, little ones, big ones, everybody loves a bagel. I promised you a sweet bagel. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let, keep let going. Just, you just, just keep, make one. You keep whipping things. I'm just trying Ooh, to pace so myself. Warm. Huh? Yeah, they're still warm, right. I know. Excellent. So if you want to do a, hey, if you got little kids, peanut butter and jelly on a bagel, yeah, on a plain delicious. bagel, ridiculous. If you like to make burgers, like even if there are turkey burgers or, 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 or hamburgers or whatever it is, try it on a bagel. You want to make pizzas out of these, right? Get a little marinara, a little cheese, a little basil, whatever you can make mini pizzas. It gives you another really nice option and a change of pace to traditional bread. And if you've never, I'm sure you've all had a bagel before, but if you've never had Brooklyn Food Group's bagels, you are in for a special treat. They are really, they're so much better than the ones that sit on the store shelf. 
And you know, listen, I know there's companies that package them and they, you know, and you all know where they are. And they're usually in the refrigerated section because they, you know, for whatever reason, they, you know, that's, they're there and they're, or they're frozen together and they look terrible. Look at how beautiful that is that Perfect. we just made right there. Free shipping and handling if you order it today. And by the way, if you want to order it really fast, right under the free shipping and uh, handling label, there's a little barcode. That's called our QR code. If you take your phone and turn on the camera and just put it right in front and you'll see that little thing will frame it out, it'll take you right there and you can order it as soon as you want. Guy, I think we're, the, the key here is breakfast, yeah. lunch, and or dinner. Oh, God, yeah. We, we got it all covered. And just remember, these bagels, every one of these bagels is actually a plain bagel with topping on it. You're going to yeah. see a lot of bagels coming out now with uh, a sun-dried tomato flavor, basil tomato. You know, yeah. this way you got, you're at home, everybody's got what they want in their yeah. refrigerator. You put what you want on it, I, not yeah, what I want. Right. Let right. You take care of the bagel. You take care of the bagel. You take, take care of what you put inside you of it. You dress it up. I mean, look at this. When I, I remember when I was a kid. We used to go out. It was when, um, remember Dunkin' Donuts and all that? Dunkin' Donuts, when they first started, they yeah, used, you know, I was fun. up in Connecticut, so I, my dad used to take us there. And then as we got older, he would take us to, uh, there was a restaurant right next door that, that had, it wasn't a bagel shop, but they made bagel sandwiches. Right. And I'm telling you, once you've had a bagel sandwich, it's hard to go back, because that dough, that texture. And give me the process of exactly how you guys make them, because I know they go in a bath and all that stuff. So sure. how does it work? Sure. So what we do is we bring in the ingredients, you mix the dough. The key here is once you mix the dough, you got to retard it or ferment it. Right. We, we ferment for 24 hours. Because the ones you see in the supermarket, maybe they're fermented for three hours, if they're lucky. Mm. But we ferment 24 hours. The next day, it goes through a process. It gets boiled, then the seeds get dropped on it, goes through a, a, a tunnel oven, and then we pack it. And this is the way it comes packaged. You're going to get four of these six packs in four your box. Four of them. Crazy! Just take them into your freezer. There's directions yeah. in the package, and uh, you get all my history too if you want to see it. All right, it's all, it's eight, all on there. $8.98 gets it home. All right, if you want to get a brand new H10 credit card, we'll pay for 10 bucks off any of your first orders. Remember, everything in this show is less than $50. I promise you a great show. We are delivering. Gerard, thank you, my friend. It was great to see you as always. Pleasure. Appreciate you. Pleasure. Love those bagels. Trust me, try it. You'll be, you'll be a victim and you will always order them. You'll say, oh my gosh, I got New York City bagels right here. Brooklyn Food Group, thank you, my friend. All right, I'm heading over. So I've been looking forward to hanging out with this lady for a long time. I got to work, what was it, your first show? Yes. yes. We had a great time and you came out. This is Lucretia Allen, everybody. Uh, Lucretia is a, an incredible pastry chef, extraordinaire, southern belle, whatever you want to call her. But I will tell you this, you make the most amazing cakes that I've ever had here. You came out with that caramel cake, the caramel, yes. whatever, crunch cake, whatever it was. Yeah. I've never had anything like that before. I mean, you eat that frosting <laughs> and you're a victim. All right, you're like, I, I gotta have this. It's so good. So what Lucretia did is she said, you know what? Committing to a whole big cake mm -hmm. means, you know, you may have some leftovers or whatever, but wouldn't it be better if everybody could have their own sort of special exactly. cake, right? And exactly. so what we've got, I'm gonna go through the, actually, I'll let you go through the flavors. Okay. <laughs> so everybody that orders is gonna get uh, six of these delicious mini bunt cakes. Each one probably serves four or five people because they are very rich. Why don't you start at the back and okay. take us forward? What's that one? We have the strawberry crunch cake, old classic to the ice cream, and we have the caramel obsession. The best. Yes. <laughs> it's a southern classic at the, at every church event and uh, holidays and things like that. And then yeah. we have the lemon church lady cake. Oh, man. <laughs> you know I'm eating that. What's that one in the front? And then we have the rum cake, the scrumptious rum. So nuts and beautiful rum soaked here. You yes. have that classic uh, uh, icing on top of a beautiful lemon cake. Uh, Lucretia's frosting on the caramel cake. I'm just telling you, that stuff will make you crazy. It's so good. So if you've never ordered her cakes before, I would say, say try the caramel cake. I am dying to try that strawberry crunch. Oh, we got and while that. I'm doing that, <laughs> tell us how you got. I love to hear your story, how you got, how you got into this business, all that stuff. Well, I've always baked. I've been baking since oh maybe about eight or nine. I was watching my sisters um, decorate, and when when they started baking and stuff, I would 
mimic them. So I went on to school, became a pastry chef. Okay. Um, so I'm a certified pastry chef, and I just incorporated my parents from Mississippi and Tennessee. So I incorporated their southern southern love. Um, so yeah, that's it. I, 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 I make it from scratch, and I love what I do. When I was a kid, <clears throat> the good humor man be coming into town. Mm -hmm. And I would always get that strawberry shortcake. Right. You know the ice cream, yeah. you know what I'm talking about, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. That is what this is. This is like the strawberry shortcake, good humor. <laughs> That's spectacular. You Thank know what's you. funny, though? It's not killer sweet. No. You no. don't over, you never do that. I mean, right. I know you're icing on the yeah. caramel cake. It's right. a different world. Yeah, yeah. This is so good. I don't know if you can see it. And it even has the crunchies. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm going to hold this one up. <laughs> got the, look, got the crunchies exactly. that we love on our strawberry shortcake. So that's the strawberry. You're going to get six of those. I have to pace myself because I know I got to... I'm going in on caramel cake last. <laughs> All right? I'm going to try the lemon. Tell me about this. What are you putting here? Um, it has lemon, um, all the pure ingredients. So butter. Mm. Oh, nice. <laughs> pure cane sugar. All the goodness. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Again... It's not, it's not super sweet. Right. Because what, what Lucretia does too, don't forget there's icing on it as well, so you don't need to make the cake that sweet. Right. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna try the rum. Since it's a quarter to five, I guess I can have some rum at this point. Well, well it's evaporated. All right, I like, to, <laughs> I like to smell it first. Okay, you know, I'm gonna, all right. Ooh, that smells good. It smells like rum. Yes. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's some real rum in there. It is real rum. <laughs> That is delicious. <laughs> and again, you're getting six, mm -hmm. but it's all about this cake right here, okay? Mm -hmm. This is, this is your classic. Yes. You told me how you make this frosting. It's a labor of love. Yes, right? Making it this is. stuff. It is. This frosting is like caramel, butterscotch, maple. It's everything you would want in anything that's a frosting. Yes. That's going to go on a yellow cake. Exactly. I'm going to cut it here. So it's my favorite. It's made just like your grandma used to make. Oh my God. Did your grandma make this cake? Well, <laughs> well, not you mine. Made it. No, not this not one. Not mine. Not mine. Yeah, but that's yeah. not a grandma. I yeah. know what you're saying. Yeah, granny. My grandma mm -hmm. used to can things. Yes. She used to pickle eggs. Yes. I mean, you go over to that house, it was like a circus. Yeah. I, she had <laughs> pets all over the place. That frosting right there. If you've never tried her cakes before, I encourage you to try the caramel. Yes. That one or that. My two favorites are caramel and that strawberry because I'm a big strawberry shortcake fan. Mm -hmm. But get it while you can. I'm telling you guys, you're going to absolutely love it. We dropped the price from uh, $59 mm -hmm. down to $49, okay, and change. You're getting free shipping. It. Can one of you guys grab me a, a towel? I just, my hands are so <laughs> sticky. I'm, I can't even grab my cards. <laughs> but if you want to get it, it's free shipping and handling, okay? All you got to do is take your camera. Uh, app on your phone, hold it up to that little code at the bottom, and you can automatically uh, order these. So get them. You know, when I taste these, I, and I'm, I forget, I'm not from the South, so mm -hmm. all I have is you to talk about it. Right. You know, and your family who comes here. Mm -hmm. But I almost feel like I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I get the whole story behind yeah. it, like the classic recipes. Yeah, yeah. like my, my, my mother and my uncle would say, um, when you come over to their house, come on in this good house, rest your coat, and stay a while. <laughs> this is what this is. Yeah, this have, a, is... have a piece of caramel yes, cake. Yes, exactly, come on in. Oh we, we, we love what we do, and yeah. this is ex an example of love. And you know, it's, here's the thing too, is that if you're not from the South, how else are you gonna get your hands on stuff like this other than exactly. HSN and you? Exactly. Like I never had like I have never had a caramel cake till I had yours. Wow. And I'm like, man, what have I been missing exactly. my whole life? And you can get these things. Now I will tell you, that caramel cake, one of those little bunt cakes mm -hmm. will probably feed at least four people. Yes. All right, because mm -hmm. I just like I just had this little bitty piece. And I'm telling you, that caramel's dancing all inside my mouth. It is so wonderful. <laughs> but if you want one that I would say is a little less sweet, mm -hmm. thank you, Keith. You're my buddy. You always take care of me. Uh, if you want one that's a little less sweet, I would go with the uh, with that um, that rum cake. Yes. I think that's the least sweet yes. of all of them. It is. Uh, and then I would probably say the next least sweet would be the strawberry shortcake. Type one, or what are we calling that? We're calling that strawberry crunch. Strawberry crunch? Yes. And then these two are a little on the sweeter side, mm -hmm. the ones because obviously they have icing on them. Yes. So if you are trying to go maybe a little less on the sugary side, then you can opt for those to get those home. But honestly, they you know, it's funny. I had your big cake. That little one is the exact, it's just a little version of exactly, your big cake. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's a personal one. 
Love it. Where yeah. do you, now tell me, where are you guys located? Where do you guys do all this stuff? We're located in Indianapolis. Okay. Racing capital of the world. Fantastic. <laughs> you should be serving up. They serve caramel cakes at them races. Yes. Race to the phone, get these things home. I'm just telling you. And if you want to get them, uh, you don't have to pay the whole thing at once. You take any a debit, card, a credit card, all that stuff, $16 and change, get it home. Mm -hmm. Once you get it, do us a favor. And do Lucretia a favor too. Write us a review. I would love to hear some reviews on these yes, products because yes. I, I'm telling you, I don't make. I'm not a baker, so I have ultimate respect for you because <laughs> because I have no patience. Yeah. And I and I and I, I, I I'm a kind of guy that can I can recognize flavors, mm -hmm. but I'm impatient. So I you know I can I can copy most recipes, but I, I can't do like the exact baking. Right. Because yeah. you got when you it's bake. It's science. Right. Yeah. You yeah. got to do everything. Right. The right way, yeah. even the measuring. Exactly. If you add too much salt, you gotta start it all over. When you yeah. do it in culinary, you can take put in a little pinch of salt, or you can add right. a, a, a potato and it takes it out. Right. So, but here, yeah, it's a science. You gotta get it right. You gotta know how to blend all the flavors. So, all right, let me show you your choices. So, this is the rum, not not too sweet. That's the mini lemon. Yes. This is the uh, caramel, the, the caramel obsession, which I'm telling you, if you've never ordered it, get that. I'm gonna order the strawberry shortcake. So I think my son would absolutely flip out for those as well. <laughs> zero, zero, nine, four, two, nine, if you want to pick them up. Wonderful to see you as thank always you. and your wonderful family. Those guys are all great. Yes, appreciate thank you. Appreciate you bringing us a little of South. Awesome. Here in the South. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, <laughs> thanks, Lucretia. Hey, we're 10 minutes away from Tamara and the Little Mermaid red carpet premiere. Oh my gosh, you gotta check that out. It's gonna be so much fun. She's got so many great things to celebrate that. So uh, after I get off air, make sure you stick around. And oh, look at the set. I can't believe how beautiful that is. All right, that's coming up with Tamara in 10 minutes. All right, we gonna continue on. I'm back with Carrie. So you introduced us to Ferris. How many years ago? How long has Ferris been so here? So Ferris has been here since 2010, so we're talking 13 years. Jeez. You know, and you know in this business how hard that is to do? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'll tell you really quickly why. There is not a company anywhere, and I, don't, I mean anywhere in the world, in my opinion, that uses better quality ingredients. And when you make you. A, a, a nut mix, fruit mm -hmm. nut mix, it's all about that. It's, it's all about that. Right? You can't hide it, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot of companies try to hide it using tons of salt. Right. But you can't do that here. I, and Ferris doesn't because they're adding just enough salt in here because this is a roasted salted variety. Yeah. Um, just enough to bring out the flavors of those incredible ingredients. And here you're seeing those ingredients there. But this is... This yeah. Is, yeah. And, and the reason I love it so much, and I'm ordering it today, the grab and go. Do you know how many times I'm running out the door and I'm like, yeah. I wish I had some nuts. I wish I had a little bit of fruit to take with me. You can use it as a topping on your salad. It's fantastic. Be prepared, though. You're not going to get itty bitty leftover pieces of fruit and nuts. I, you know, it's funny. We have some. We, I, I had some, one in my uh, desk. It, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't Ferris. Yeah. It was just there. I, it was. They had it downstairs in the thing, and I was like, What? I got. I but you should have seen the little bits of cranberry. What a joke! I'm oh, like, Oh right. my gosh. I call them flakes. Yeah. You, you show everybody what it's all about. Because oh these grab gosh. and goes are big, giant pouches. Absolutely. So there's actually two servings in each bag. Now listen. Sometimes you're gonna be hungry and you're just gonna eat the whole thing, and that's totally fine. I love that they're proportioned out though, because Ferris is a dangerous treat, and that we can really. Just just overdo it and keep eating. That's the thing, I always see the comments from you guys and you're talking about, oh my gosh, I couldn't stop. We love that. But we also wanna make sure we make it easy for you when you are on the go. So this is perfect for it, you know, going to the park, going to the beach, going yeah. to the event, going to wherever, going to work. Because just how you said, you had some in your desk, right? Oh well, yeah. What happens is we get into areas like work or you know, if you're a teacher when you're at school and you know, or um, you know, when you're just in weird places that you can't walk away necessarily. Right. And then you end up going to what? The the vending machine yeah. and you buy all the wrong things because most vending machines don't necessarily have great treats for you. So with Ferris, you're getting the most high quality fruits and nuts and I'm just picking from everything here. It really starts with those Michigan cherries. We are a Michigan based company since 1924. So what year is it? 2023. Oh, so so we are just shy of our hundred years in business. Amazing. Let's talk about what sets us apart right here. I am going to rip into this cherry and rub it in my hands. Wow. Do you see all wow. the juice do you see it all that is because we do not send our fruit like our fruits to concentrate or send the juice to concentrate we yeah. keep it in the fruit so a lot of times we talk about you'll hear me say fruit jerky and what I'm really talking about is because they'll take the juice out and just oh, yeah. basically give you the skin well you know why too because it's lighter weight and, exactly. they can, and they can make more money with less that's shipping. Right. That's, that's right that's they dry it out yep your fruits taste like you're eating fruit yeah they don't they don't take and by the way you know, you know, a lot of those fruit nut mixes, all you eat, all you feel like you're eating is dried out raisins. Yeah. 
That tasted like a cherry. What I just ate tasted like it's a amazing. cherry off a tree. I know. It's a, and, amazing. That's, and that's how it should be. Nuts and fruits should have notes. They should come off and, and have different taste profiles. And the class, the, I call this classic because no matter how many different mixes we have brought here to HSN, this is the one that you love. And this is the one that you always come back for. And this is the one that if we don't offer it, you're always like, where was the cherries, berries, right. and nuts? Right. So we, we love you that mm. you love it. And we will continue bringing it for you. But, you know, here is the cranberries. You were just talking about that. I actually just ripped apart the... That looks like a cranberry. It actually, it's not a little tiny flake of something that it doesn't look like what it is. So, you know, everything from those... Okay, so, the, okay, what do you got, the cherry? It's a cherry. Yeah, oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at my hand. Look at his hand. That is a cherry. We'll find it. Here you come. Thank you, guys. Look at the size of that. That is a cherry. It's beautiful. I mean, it looks like a, like a cherry. Yeah. Right? I can even see where the little stem was right there. <laughs> it's not torn, ripped. And again, if you look at, look at my finger, look at the juice. It's crazy. Look at that. I love doing that. Can you see that? <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's not like any dried fruit. It's no. not a dried fruit. Oh my gosh, it's and you know what? It's so funny you said that because where was I? I was somewhere, and, oh, and same good. thing as what happened to him. There was just another brand. Like, mm. it was just like a pack, and I was hungry, so I grabbed it. It was not a great experience because the nuts tasted completely stale. The fruit had no juice mm. whatsoever. I was like, what am I even eating? I didn't even taste each individual ingredient. You're getting cashews from India and Brazil. You're getting the pecans. Now, listen, it takes time to shell a pecan like this. Most companies, they're all broken up in all pieces because it's easier to crack them open and do that. But here's why you want them like this. When it cracks, when you bite into it, Look at the, the size. oils have now been released, right? So that's going to be a better tasting um, pecan than if it were broken up in pieces. That's why we try to keep them that way. Our almonds are from California, which is the top place to source almonds from. So you're getting all the most high quality options in this mix and grab and go. And they're coming in two boxes. Yeah, look what you get. So when you order today, and I'm going to order because I, I love that size of that it's bag. It's so fun. It's not too big that I feel like I'm indulging, but it's right. not a little waste of time. Like it, I wouldn't even put that in my pocket. That's that I would put in a lunchbox. It gives you exactly the so backpack, you your purse. You open this up. See if I can do better than Carrie did before. Hold on. <laughs> I was just messing with it. That you. other one was hard. Look at, <laughs> look at all the bags that are in here. And again, these are big. These are really, and. Ferris is not afraid to put a window. That's right. On the front of their package, because if you come in there tight, look at the size of the nuts. There's not little, I'll take another, but it doesn't matter what bag I take. Look at that, look in the window. Those, my friends, are real. In fact, are, are real sizable, uh, you know, pieces of, of and I shouldn't even say pieces, whole uh, fruits and nuts. Here's the thing, $46.95, all right? That is our, that's our great price. We're doing free shipping and handling. Go to hsn.com. Mm -hmm. Almost every review is five star. Absolutely. It's like 60, what did I have there? I got 68 out of 83. Almost yeah. every review and the rest are four star. People absolutely love these things. And you know what I like too, yeah. Carrie? Yeah, It's, it's guilt free. Oh, yes. I, I, I well, love protein. Well, here's the thing. You can't go wrong with protein. It's got antioxidants from the fruits and yeah. protein from the nuts. So, look, that's one bag in my hand that I just emptied. You see how... Now, my hand, you know, I'm a smaller, I'm a more petite individual. But listen, only about half of this is really what you should eat in any sitting. It, it is a serving. Yeah. Okay, so what happens is protein makes you feel full. And that helps you to not eat as much. So when you're eating nuts and when you're having about a handful, this will help you feel fuller longer in the sense that protein, that's what it does. That's yeah. what its job is. And then the antioxidants are always a great thing. I mean, so come on. So I think what's great about this is this is giving you that healthier option when you're looking for something to snack on. And you say, you know, yeah. I don't want to break my diet. I don't want to no, break the things I'm doing. Energy. But I need energy. Yes. I need to like power myself through the afternoon, that 3 p.m. slump. We all know it. Um, or when you're just stuck somewhere, well, these don't melt, by the way. No, so keep it in your car, keep it in your desk, keep it, you know, this, when you this go is, out to the event. Right. This is for the this is during the day. I, yeah. I, I love this snack like early in the morning or during the day. Hey, you want Lucretia cakes? You have that at night. You're not waking up and eating a bunt cake when you get up. What? And I'm not telling you <laughs> to, I'm a just time saying for it. you gotta have some 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 great choices. And Ferris is one. Pat, did you say 80 left in auto ship? 
65 less than auto ship, and you can oh. change the auto ship anytime. It always oh. sells out. It always sells out. I'm telling you why that's important. We have not been on with grab and goes in quite some time. This is our first time back. I have no indication about them coming back again. So oh, I'm yes. ordering it. I'm ordering Please, it. Please get on yeah. the auto ship. So here, here's 24 packs together. So this is what it looks like now. I keep mine in my pantry. I have one of the um, uh, my kinetic containers, yeah. and so I put them in, in there and I stack them up, and then it's just literally grab and go. I go right into my pantry. I grab a bag and I run off. You know. So I love that I yeah. never get stuck with without a, you know, a, a better for me option. Totally is. And yeah. by the way, you can use it on salads. Uh, one bag on a, on a salad for four people is perfect. It's yeah. plenty. And you get that great crunching texture. Like I said, sometimes you just need something to get you through the day, yeah. right? And yes, there's cookies. Yes, there's candies. That's not a good choice. I mean, you can do that once in a while. I get it. I'm not telling you not to eat candy. I'm just saying, listen, this is something you should do. I now have about four dozen left in auto ship, which means you'll get it every 30, 60 days, whatever you decide the auto ship, but you're not gonna find any other company out there, and I've said this a million times, that does the quality and the consistency of what Ferris does. Guys have been around forever. They know what it, how to do it right, and that's why they keep coming back year after year when we can get it. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And so, you know, 100 years for us next year. So I think it's pretty exciting. We've been here for 13 years. Thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoy this and bring it with you to all the fun things yeah. we're going to do this summer. Great stuff. Good to see you as Good to always. see you as well. Man, look, those Good bars times. that you did before, too. Holy mackerel. That's just against the law. Have some stuff. bars for your snack time. Have some of this. <laughs> hey, something for, something for everybody. That's right? right, exactly. All right, well, Carrie Mileto, you're amazing. Thank you so much. 091 uh, 883. We are so excited. The Little Mermaid. Here comes our own wonderful mermaid, uh, Tamara. She's going to take you on a great, great show. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Take care. Well, that's right. We are going to take you under the sea here at HSN because we have literally brought to life the look and feel of Disney's The Little Mermaid. It is the live action.